During Mass for the last two Sundays, we have seen two videos. The first, The Parish in Action, gives a flavour of the ministries to which many of you so generously give your time to build up the body of Christ here in Guildford. The second, The Parish in Future, sets out a vision, a pastoral plan, to achieve what many of you have said you want to see happen in our parish, to deepen our love for Jesus Christ. This vision echoes Bishop Richard's pastoral plan for the diocese, prioritising prayer, formation and mission. This week we look at the resources which are essential if we are to achieve these goals. Ever since our new parish was formed in 2016, our income has not been covering the day-to-day -day costs of running the parish or the capital spending needed to maintain our buildings and equipment. As you can see from the table, we had a deficit of £60,000 in 2017 and £31,000 last year. whereby in 2017 there was project expenditure of £106,000 spent, whilst in 2018 this was restricted to £23,000 in order to get a greater understanding of our spend. In 2019 budget, the day-to-day -day running of the parish highlights a deficit of £41,000. Part of this relates to an additional large increase to the Dyson levy of £24,000, for the National Catholic, Education and Retired Priests Funds. Now, you would have heard the clergy in the previous video discuss the even better if scenario, which in order to achieve those activities, we will need a further £40,000 of funds. You will by now appreciate that any funds we raise is subject to a Dyson levy. This therefore means in order to spend £40,000, we will need to raise a further £21,000, which is the Dyson levy of 35%. Where this leaves us is a shortfall in the day-to-day -day running cost for 2019 of £41,000 plus a further £61,000 to fund the even better if, thus totaling £102,000 deficit. In 2019, we are planning and will need to incur further expenditure for some big ticket items that will need to be done. We have to replace a 34-year-old boiler and to form additional office accommodation, both totaling £110,000. Without any increase in the offertory income, the deficit for the year will be £139,000. This is before the even better rev scenario. So I have a big ask of you. Please review your giving. Please complete the standing order form. Regular giving every week or month helps you and the parish to plan. Giving my standing order is by far the easiest and most tax efficient way of giving. If you already give by standing order, and I'm hugely grateful to the 300 of you who do, this new standing order will replace the old one and will give you the opportunity to revise your current giving. For those who do not give by standing order, please, please take this opportunity to do so. If as well, or instead, you can make a one-off donation, please use this form. The money you give in a one-off donation goes to a special project fund, which is not subject to the Dyson levy. We need to spend £285,000 over the next three years on project expenditure. So please, if you can, use this form to make a one-off gift, large or small. After your offertory giving, our second biggest source of income costs you nothing. It is the tax rebate called gift aid, which adds a quarter, 25 pence for every pound to your gifts. If you pay tax, please complete the gift aid form. It costs you nothing, but makes a big difference to what we can do as a parish. So how much do we need to balance the budget and beyond to pay for the plans set out in the video last week, the parish in the future? 
As explained earlier, we need £102,000 a year extra, plus additional funds for project expenditure. That means I'm asking each one of you to pray on it and to increase your giving by as much as you can. Thank you. How much should you give? Only you can decide. Only we, the parishioners of Guildford Catholic Parish, give to our parish. We are entirely self-supporting. We can only spend what we give. How much should you give? Holy Scripture and the person of Jesus Christ give us a benchmark. Jesus followed the Hebrew law of tithing and gave a tenth of his income to the temple. Tithing is the one thing Jesus praised the Pharisees for. A tenth of your income may seem a lot. Not everyone can achieve this straight away. Let's, as we pray about giving, reflect on the prayer of King David. Everything we have comes from you, O Lord, and we only give you what is yours already.